friends and students in today's class we will do some practical related with ic that is operational amplifier ic so we'll do what two practicals today in the same video i will just show you so you can see on your screen one circuit is there that is light sensor switch circuit using ldr and 741 ic 741 ic is a operational amplifier ic so we will do this first we will do the practical based on this same exactly and afterwards we'll do one more circuit that is i'll just try to show it to you what does the other circuit right heat sensor switch here the ic is different that is lm393 right okay this is also an operational amplifier ic so we will do this two circuits so let's go to the first circuit okay so let's before going to the circuits and i will just explain you about operational amplifier what is operational amplifier it is also called as pc coupled high gain voltage amplifier with differential inputs that means pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the ic they have a differential input that means the voltage and current will be differing on that particular pin and the voltage will be only one that is it will have a single output right single output so this is coupling dc coupled and voltage amplifier with a differential input and single output this you have to keep it in mind number two point is you have to remember it is an analog ic please remember it is not a digital ic before this in other previous classes we have seen we have done some practical with timer ic that is any 555 ic any 555 ic is a mixed ic it's not digital it is not analog but we call it as together it's a mixed signal ic okay so this ic that is 741 it's a analog ic okay now what does analog mean it will only mean the analog that is sine waves it will process those type of signals high and low signals not zero and ones okay so that's why we call it as a analog signal that is analog processor ic now pin number 2 3 and 6 if you see this circuit that is 741 and we are talking about 741 2 3 and 6 so 2 and 3 denotes inverting and non inverting pins that is plus and minus you can see on the screen one is inverting and one is non inverting and pin number 6 is output got it and the 6 goes to we have given to the base of a transistor that is pnp transistor 557 is a pnp transistor so the symbol you can just find it out and that transistor drives the relay okay that i will show you when we do the circuit on the breadboard okay right now how you represent a op amp a triangular shape okay it will be triangular form it will be triangle like form it will be there you can see this is a triangle form this one which makes a triangle form okay so wherever you see this type of signal we call it as a operational amplifier operational amplifier comes with eight pins dip or 14 pin dip or 16 pin dips also dip means what dual in row right okay and it also comes with soic that is small outline ic smaller than uh, this thing okay so usually this ic will have pin number 7 connected to power okay and power can be from 5 volts to up to 18 volts we can get not less than or not more than that and pin number 4 is ground same case the next one the next circuit that is lm393 pin number 4 is ground and pin number 8 is vcc now you will think sir both of them are operational amplifier but why the difference in the pins so please remember there will be difference in the pins vcc ground 
or your output pins or your inverting pins also. So depending upon the IC, it will differ. So LM393, pin number 4 is ground, pin number 8 is VCC, pin number 2 and 3 are inverting. Right, inverting pin will be maximum time you will find 2 and 3 when it is a 8 pin dip IC. Okay. Okay. So in this family, we have different ICs. Like here I have shown you 741. There is one more IC that is 1458. Right? It is also dual operational amplifier that means there are two in a package there are two dual operational amplifier then you have three five lm358 that is also dual amplifier it is only eight pins lm324 that is 14 pin quad amp quad means four in a package you have four so 353 tlo 74 that is cmos ic tlo so very sensitive ic Okay, 393, 386, these are all from the family of your operational amplifier. Okay, so this is about operational amplifier. Very important topic in electronics, consumer electronics, in industry, in industry also, many of the circuit they will be using operational amplifier, but the number and names can be little different. So you have to understand and you have to learn about this. Now let's go to the practical portion. Okay. And before going to practical portion, I will just tell you where we use this IC. Like if you want to do some projects or some just a simple idea, simple mobile phone detector circuit using operational amplifier. Mobile phone detector in the examination hall. If somebody is carrying a mobile phone, it will automatically detect. So you can do some circuits based on this operational amplifier. Overheat detector with auto cutoff system, right? Overheat detector. We are doing that circuit. Okay. The next circuit is that only. Square and triangular wave generator circuit with operational amplifier 741. IC number is 741, but square wave or triangular wave, if you want to generate, you can do temperature and voltage converting using thermistor. Right, audio amplifier, we can use it, FM radio circuits here, and so many other projects we can do with this particular IC. So, all right, so friends, we have come to the lab. We have already connected one circuit on the breadboard. I will just explain you about this particular circuit. We have already seen the schematic diagram. So we have used a IC that is 741, okay? Here you will not have a cut mark, but there is a marking on the IC on the corner. You can see here the pin number one starts from there. Anti-clockwise you have to count. Okay. So pin number one is a dummy. We have not connected because in the schematic also it is not connected. Okay. Pin number two, I said pin number two and pin number three are important. That is inverting and non-inverting. That has to be connected through your what? Through register, it is connected to the supply one end and another end is given to the ground. Okay. So values 10K, 10K, we have used it to register from the same pin that is this thing. Pin number three is the input. What we did is pin number three, I have given it through a potentiometer. This is your potentiometer. Okay. We call it as a preset plus, but remember it is a potentiometer. Okay. It is 100K, same what has given in the circuit. One end is potentiometer is going to ground through a register and another end what I did is I have connected one LDR this is your LDR okay this is LDR circuit okay so pin number seven is going to supply pin number four is going to ground okay or pin number six is the output okay this register is the output from pin number six we have connected to the base of the PNP transistor. This is the PNP transistor. What transistor? 558 or 557, right? And through that, the emitter, the emitter is going to a relay point. Relay point. What is relay? I will show you the relay point. And collector is going to ground. Okay. And same thing what I did is for switching purpose, I've connected one LED over here that is from the center point of the switching. Okay. So 
here emitter is a supply okay from where it is coming from the relay point it is coming you can see this jumper this is coming from the positive end positive end this is positive end okay this is this side we have taken as negative and this side we have taken as a positive so this is already connected so i will just try to show it to you with another these thing okay so you can see here from the bottom side there are five points here five points okay so these two points this one where i am touching my screwdriver these two points are the coil points and this three one two three this is common point this is no and this is nc right so this three points works like a switch so same fashion i have connected here two points are connected to the positive one it's a positive and another one goes to the emitter of the pnp transistor and this i have taken as a switch i have connected led to it and one part one portion i have given to the supply and i have connected 330 ohms resistor so that the 9 volt doesn't harm this led okay now we'll see what happens to this i'll just try to connect the positive end here i will connect the negative end here right okay negative is this side so let's see what happens okay now what i will do is already the light is falling i'll just try to connect make it dark you can see you can see it has come up it has come so this is a dark and this is light dark light i can just show you the like this also dark light right dark light dark light so this project you know what is this project we use it in the this thing day and night light automatic system that is in the daytime the light will switch off automatically in the night time the day, it will shift so automatic street light which is used right this is the simple circuit using operational amplifier so i have given you one circuit we have checked one circuit i will show you another circuit now okay all right so friends we have taken another circuit i will just give you the little example about this circuit so i have used another ic in here that is the previous we have used lm 741 here i have used lm 393 This is LM three nine three. This is also dual ampl amplifier. Okay, operational amplifier. This is your thermistor, temperature detecting resistor. So same, we have little difference. That is, pin number four is ground. Pin number eight is supply. And again, here also pin number two and three. Please remember, here also pin number two and three are inverting and so non-inverting. So I've connected one uh, potentiometer through this and output. That is. pin number 1 here the output is pin number 1 i have connected through a resistor it is going to a diode that is through a led okay so what should happen here when this temperature is more this should vary the light should be on or off that we have to see okay so that way. i will tell you about lm393 please remember lm393 are used in most of the sensor circuit what sensors i will tell you suppose this is proximity sensor circuit okay this is a proximity sensor circuit okay you know about this sensors we have different sensors and this so here the ic what is used here this one this ic this is also lm393 ic okay this is lm393 ic so this ic this is a dip ic but this is another type of package okay so in your many of the sensor circuit they will use lm393 that's why this ic is very very important so you can make sensors also with the help of this ics if you have uh, some good ideas and all you can make some sensors new sensors with the help of these same ic okay 393 so it's a very very popular ic it is an operational amplifier okay now i will give the connection i have given the negative i will connect it here and positive i will just give it to this side because the positive is pin number 8 so i have given the connection i saw that the light is glowing okay right so when the temperature is normal the light is glowing now let's heat this how to heat this i will take a iron and i will just put it nearby to this i will just put it near to 
this. Let's see what happens if I we put near uh, to this thing. Can you see what happened? The light went off. I will just remove the iron and let it cool it down. Cooling, it's cooling, it's cooling, it's cooling, it's cooling. When it gets to the normal temperature, when it becomes to it comes to the normal temperature, automatically the light should come on. You can see now the light has come. Once again, I will try to show it to you. Oh, okay, the temperature is high and the cooling, when it cools down, automatically it will come. So these type of circuits, what do you find? These type of circuit, you can do it. Instead of LED, I can put relay also in this relay, right? I can put relay and I can control the fans. So machine, you can control fan. That means the temperature for cooling purpose, for machines and all, you can make those projects with the help of operational amplifier. What operation, what uh, ampli IC I have used? I have used 393. So these, all these circuit, why I'm telling you, these are important for the industry and you should all try by yourself. I hope you understood this particular topic.